Hello everyone and welcome back to our videos. Today we will talk about turbine engine exhaust system and its components. The turbine engine exhaust system must be capable of withstanding very high temperature and usually manufactured from nickel or titanium for resisting the high temperature must not be allowed to transfer the heat to nearby airframe or structures. This can be accomplished by routing ventilating air around the exhaust pipe and by covering the exhaust pipe by insulating blanket. Components of exhaust system The exhaust system of turbine engine in general consists of the exhaust cone, the exhaust nozzle and the exhaust duct. We will start talking about the exhaust cone or cone assembly. The purpose of the exhaust cone to collect the gases discharged from the turbine and gradually converts them into a single jet. The collected gases are delivered either directly or via the tail babe to the nozzle jet. Tail babe used to collect and straighten the gas flow as it comes from the turbine and to increase the velocity of the gases before they are discharged from the exhaust nozzle. The second component, the exhaust duct. The exhaust duct is essentially a simple stainless steel conical or cylindrical babe. The assembly also includes an engine tail cone and the struts inside the duct. The tail cone and the struts add strength to the duct, impart an axial direction and smooth the gas flow. As we see together this figure here we have the struts and here we have the inner cone and this is the components of the duct. The third component of the exhaust is the exhaust nozzles. The rear opening of a turbine engine exhaust duct is called the exhaust nozzle as we see in this figure this is our exhaust nozzle the nozzle acts as an orifice the size of which determines the density and velocity of the gases as emerge from the engine the nozzle come in two shapes Convergent exhaust nozzle and convergent divergent exhaust nozzle. And we will start talk about the convergent exhaust nozzle. On most aircraft, you will find it where the velocity of the exhaust gas remains subsonic. The AA exhaust nozzle is used to increase the velocity of gas. Adjusting the area of the exhaust nozzle, it changes the both engine performance and the exhaust gas temperature. As we see here in this figure, if the exhaust finished in this area, this called the convergent 
exhaust nozzle but if it has extension like this this called convergent divergent exhaust nozzle and this the second type of the exhaust nozzle and convergent divergent nozzle the convergent section is designed to handle the gases while they remain subsonic and deliver gases to the throat of the nozzle just they attain sonic velocity the divergent section the Mach 1 gas and further increases its velocity to supersonic Turbojet exhaust system the exhaust section of turbojet engine is located directly behind the turbine section the main purpose is to direct the flow of gases rearward in such manner as to prevent turbulence and at the same time impart a high final or exit velocity to the gases turbofan exhaust the bypass engine has two gas streams to eject to the atmosphere to cool fan air and the hot gases being discharged from the turbine in a low bypass engine these two flows may be combined in a mixture unit and discharged through the same nozzle if we see this figure of course you will find it the low of course this the low the here it will separate in two ways the first one will go by the bypass the second one will insert into the core of the engine and they will mix together behind or at the final of the exhaust nozzle and they will mix together and go to the atmosphere in a high bypass engine the fan air is usually discharged separately from the hot gases if we back to this figure we find here the high bypass this the air entering to the engine the air will separate in this area this the bypass and this the air will enter into the core of the engine and will make the combustion chamber or assist the combustion chamber for making flame and will turn the turbine after that goes from the exhaust system if we see here you find that the bypass air will not mixed with the air that goes from the exhaust system and they will go separately